I'm gonna take two and a half gallons of this nasty standing water. There's a ton of decomposing leaves and creatures and organic matter in here. I'll even toss in a little bit of dirt for good measure. We're gonna mix it all up, take a look at it under the microscope so we can see all the bacteria, and then I'm gonna treat it with one of these P and G water purification packets. We'll see how it separates all of the contaminants of the water. We'll look at it again under the microscope and then we're gonna do a taste test. So one of these packets will treat 10 liters of water. So I'm gonna use a Nalgene bottle and just scoop up 10 bottles. There's all sorts of gross things swimming around in here. And just for some good measure, we'll uh, sprinkle in some dirt. All right, guys, so here's the water we're gonna be treating. You can see there's literally like bugs floating around in there. I don't know if that's like mosquito larva or what, but there is a ton of nasty stuff in here. And we're gonna treat this and see what happens. Guys, obviously you would never actually uh, have this dirty of a water to treat for drinking. We're just doing like an absolute worst case scenario uh, if you had to treat really gross water like this. All right guys, let's take a sample of this nasty water and check it out under the microscope. And here's a sample of some organic matter at the bottom uh, of that standing water, just so we have a good sample of some of the microbiology So I'm gonna add the packet and stir for five minutes. All right guys, so here's the results after five minutes. You can see down here at the bottom all of the major contaminants have settled down to the very bottom. And the way it's able to do this is the ferric sulfate that's in the powder here. So it binds to contaminants and allows it to settle down at the bottom. Now, you might be able to see that it wasn't able to uh, kill off a lot of the mosquito larva. Um, you can see there's a lot of them up at the top here that, that died. The main disinfectant ingredient in here is calcium hypochlorate. Uh, in the pool industry, that's called CalHypo. And um, so that's what's gonna disinfect the water. So obviously guys, you gotta use some common sense when you're getting water to filter. You wanna at least run it through some basic filtration um, or just get it from a clean running water source like a river or stream. Um, that's gonna be your best bet when you're trying to treat water. But the last step in the instructions is to pour it through a cotton uh, cloth into another container uh, and this is gonna serve as your final filtration process. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the results under the microscope. All right guys, so this is the final filtered water. All right, let's go back inside and check this out under the microscope. We'll see if there's any bacteria or organisms left in the water. All right guys, so I just looked at this under the microscope. It looks clean. I know there's like very minuscule kind of debris floating around in here. Uh, and that's just because I used a cotton piece of cotton, you know. 
Um, but there's no bacteria. I didn't see any bacteria or any organisms in there. So I'm a little nervous, but let's do a taste test. Wow, that's, I actually don't even taste much chlorine. It's very, it's actually very palatable. It's a lot better than a lot of tap water I've drank. Yeah, very mild chlorine taste. Um, and yeah, just with the confidence of like checking this under the microscope first, I'm kind of blown away at how well this stuff, uh, these packets work. So, um, you know, Use common sense, try to get clean water to start with, uh, the cleanest water you can find. Use some basic filtration um, before you, you know, treat it. Um, don't have mosquito larva in it. But overall, this stuff works really well. All right guys, so that's my review of the P&G water purification packets.